Care, part six, personality disorders with abnormal psychology. All right, so personality disorders are some of the more interesting disorders. Um, first of all, I don't have it on here, but a personality disorder has to be um, long standing, right? It has to be pervasive, chronic, all these things maladaptive, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So the key with personality disorders is what we're talking about here, all like we talked about with a lot of the other things, we all exhibit little bits and pieces of these things throughout our lives, but it's when it's long-standing, maladaptive, pervasive, chronic, that um, and, it's, and it's part of you, it's not just the situation that's causing that, right? It's a big key. It's not the situation that's causing you to act that way. Um, then uh, you've got a personality disorder, possibly. Okay, so the first I want to talk about is a histrionic. Histrionic is uh, just a big need for um, attention. Excuse me. A big need for attention. Let me pause this real quick. All right, we're back. So. Um, histrionic, right? You need for attention. You don't have really strong relationships with people. You just constantly need to be, you know, in the spotlight. It's a little different than uh, narcissistic. They're, they're similar. Narcissistic is, so histrionic is you need this attention. You know, you're the one that's always crying or making things, blowing things out of proportion. So you can, you know, have the, the focus of attention always on you. Narcissistic personality disorder is where you think you're the king, right? You're the king or queen. And the world revolves around you. And you have these uh, illusions of power. You think you're uh, more important than everybody else. And, you know, it's kind of like this. You, you feel like you need the attention because you are the king. Right, you're the queen. You you deserve everything to be looking at you. So this is an interesting one, where you're just really super self-centered and super uh, centered on everything about how important you are as a person. All right. So narcissistic. There's you're the king here. All right. There's a blue crown for you. Um. Let's go with antisocial personality disorder. Now, antisocial is one that sometimes gets confused with disassociative identity disorder. I don't know why the two uh, are confusing, but antisocial. Antisocial are your psychopaths and your sociopaths. And remember, psychopaths and sociopaths, these are the same thing. And this is, these are both legal terms. These aren't uh, psychological terms. You never be diagnosed as a psychopath. You never be diagnosed as a sociopath. It's a legal term and they're both interchangeable. Sociopath and psychopath mean the same exact thing. So when we talk about an antisocial personality disorder, that's what these guys have. All right, so antisocial personality disorder is characterized by a lack of conscious, conscience, Conscience. It's a lack of conscience uh, under ordinary situations. And um, sometimes people with antisocial personality disorder have, um, you know, are really, uh, really suave and they're very good at uh, manipulating people. Um, sometimes they're more aloof and kind of withdrawn. But the, the key here is that in normal situations that would cause you to feel bad, they don't. So when they kill somebody, they don't feel bad about it. They might not, it's not that, you know, normally human beings, when somebody else dies, they feel that it affects them negatively, right? This is why so many uh, veterans come back from war and have post-traumatic stress disorder because they feel, you know, they've witnessed so many atrocities. Somebody with antisocial personality disorder doesn't feel this. And this is where you get your serial killers. Right. If you're a serial killer, I'm going to go with 99% of the time you've got antisocial personality disorder. All right, so antisocial personality disorder is, your, is those. So antisocial, so think, um, when I think of antisocial, so social has like there's social rules that you have to follow, right? You're supposed to, you know, laugh when somebody says a, a joke or ask somebody how their day was. Antisocial doesn't care about any of those rules. They don't have any conscience. They don't feel bad when anything happens. 
Um, and so, you know, it leads them uh, sometimes down a bad path. Um, there's one more that I wanted to put on here that I didn't, and that is um, borderline. Thank you. Borderline personality disorder. And borderline personality disorders is a bit more common. Um, these are all pretty common. There's there's more personality disorders than I'm listing here. These are just some of the most common and might probably show up on the test. Um, you're impulsive. You are likely to react, you know, just uh, on a whim, and you just react, you know, you do a str act strangely, um, inappropriately, appropriate. And you just do you do things that aren't uh, you're you're not supposed to you, you're just unpredictable. That's a good word. Unpredictable for borderline personality disorder. And um, you know this is the top four that you kind of need to know. So get an understanding of those, and we'll uh, talk about it later. Thanks.